Allie Hansen, she and Miss French Walla Walla are our fraternity champions here at Ruby Buckle held in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Hallie, you and this mayor have been just doing incredibly well, but she's really, really special to you because of her breeding. So why don't you tell me about that? Yeah, she is by the stallion that we own, the Candyman, mm -hmm. and then she is out of French Streak and Izzy, which I ran Izzy uh, for Barb Westover, and she's a full sister to Barb Stallion that we're partners on, French Streak and Jess. So mm -hmm. both studs are in this program, so it's pretty cool that it's kind of come together, both of them. Tell me a little bit more about the team behind this horse and how she ended up in your program. Yeah, so Barb raised her. She mm -hmm. um, she's supported us, you know, breeding those good mares to the Candyman, mm -hmm. and um, then we had some clients, uh, Chris and Clara Heron, mm -hmm. all in barrel horses, mm -hmm. and we had they had bought a horse from us. We had some other horses for them, and they went out and uh, bought Walla from yeah. Barb, and um, they said she's coming to your barn, and so we were happy about that, of course, to get to ride a Candyman. So. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have a young mare like her who's so fast and so talented, what did you really focus on as you had started her and then brought, you know, bringing her along in her training? You know, she was really consistent with where she went every time I would take her slow. And mm -hmm. I had told Lee last summer, I said, boy, she, she's just on it every time. She knows right where she wants to go. She's very confident. And the speed just came. Mm -hmm. I mean, she I never asked her for that kind of speed. But she just, when you get in there and you send her, she, she gives you everything she has right away so so for being a rider and on a fraternity horse and her running that fast it's kind of you're kind of like whoa but mm -hmm. I mean she she's so confident and she just loves her job so now you're known throughout the industry for a certain type of bit that you like to use you're kind of known as like the snaffle master so talk to me about that and why that kind of seems to work on majority of your horses well, for me, I think it's all about what fits my hands best. You know, I really like a horse to follow my hand, their shoulders uh, to follow my hand. And so with the O-ring, I feel like they can just really do that. Um, I don't really like to lift a horse too much. And so I think it's just what fits my hands best. Mm -hmm. Now, you are an incredibly consistent competitor. And so I would love to know more about how you manage your mind leading up to a run. You're able to put great run you know, stacked on top of great run. How do you do that? You know, I ha I don't really worry about what I ran before. Mm -hmm. I just try to go in there and make another consistent run, especially if you're on a horse that you know can go back in there. You don't want to overthink it. Mm -hmm. um, so I just try to go make a solid run and let the clock say what it says. Now, this mare actually had to take a little time off because she did have an injury. What kind of advice or encouragement can you give to somebody who's, you know, perhaps had a similar experience? They have a horse that they're excited about, but they, you know, the plan has changed a little bit. What encouragement do you have for them? Well, just to stick with it, make sure that you go through everything you need to. Don't take shortcuts, you mm -hmm. know, make sure that the horse is healthy and sound before you get back out there. Mm -hmm. um, don't try to push it too soon because that's always if. If we've had a horse in our barn, we just were trying to push it too soon as far as coming back to the arena. It, it just hasn't worked out. So and make sure you have a really good, we have a great vet uh, that works on all of our horses, ESMS, and mm -hmm. they've really stick it out with our horses. And um, they know that we need to get them back in the arena and what the best thing to do for that is. So um, just a great support team that, you know, you're going to take the counsel and listen to them and just move forward. Yeah. Now you have accomplished so much in your career, including this win. We're just thrilled for you. Are there, I'd love to know what are, like, what's left on your bucket list or what other goals are you chasing down? Oh man. Um, you know, I, I'd love to win a hundred thousand dollar slot race. Mm -hmm. Um, I would, there are so many things, you know, I, I feel like with fraternity horses, you're always starting something new. So mm -hmm. to think that, oh, I've accomplished everything I can, um, when you're always on a new group of colts it's like it's like a whole new set of goals and accomplishments and and for me it's just to kick out consistent horses every year mm -hmm. well congratulations on a wonderful week we're so happy to have you back and again just thrilled for you congratulations thank you i appreciate it <laughs>